and I'm asking prayer about this a grandma. Uh, she's been taken to hospital by force. They said that uh, she have a mental health and all this, but she doesn't have any problem. So they've been to the hospital and now they've been give her medication. Uh, yesterday they gave her one today. They've been increasing like they give her two and her son is in jail for almost how many years? And she's living by herself. She's been isolated for five years by herself. And then they took her now by force to the hospital. I need prayer for that. Please pray for her so they can have, at least they can take her back to her home to check her from that hospital because she's been there for three days now. And she's been telling them I'm not sick but they don't listen to her. They keep giving her medication, but she's not sick. They've been forcing her to have those medications. And she was live, uh, she was live video two hours ago and she's crying and then it's so sad anyway. And then her son been talking to her also on live video and they've been crying to please pray for her. May God have mercy on her. And then she come out from that hospital. Amen. Amen. After this prayer, just remember to come and tell us that she was able to come back to her home. Amen. Yeah, then we pray. If you now say that the son have not been with her for long, that's what is disturbing her. And yeah. Make, her, make people think she's mental because she misses her son. Yeah. But yeah. after we pray this, God within grandma, uh, grandma, whatever it is, Satan want to bring you down, bringing wrong accusation, whatever it is, that unclean spirit tormenting you, now in the name of Jesus, out of your life, out you demon, out of our hearts, out wherever it is, out in the name of Jesus, I command you, demon, that have entered people to accuse her wrongly, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I declare this woman back to her senses to be released. That hospital is not where she belongs. I command her to be set free back home right now in Jesus' name. So shall it be no other way. Thank you. I have a testimony. Uh, two days oh, ago, wow. I, asked, I asked prayer about the grandmother that was in the hospital. They've been accusing mm -hmm. her that she's uh, mental health and all this. They've been giving her more dose and all different things. She's out today from hospital. Oh, the wow. Yeah, so happy for her. That's very good. Like about all this stuff, how she came out. She says it was very hard. The doctor, he knows very well that this this old woman, she doesn't have anything, but he just accusing her to stay in hospital so they can give her more dose. And then they're trying very hard, but she's believer too. And then she said, I believe God. He would do that. I would never, God never let us down. And she pray about it. And then I call her this afternoon. I tell her, you know what? I try very hard. I pray. And then I have a group of prayer. There's a man of God also. I tell him to pray because I was so worried. She's an old woman. And how come they come at night? They arrest her. Like four, four cars of police. Like she's criminal. Why? They said that you are mad and you're staying in the house. Really? And then they take her to hospital, they're keeping her there, they give her more dose every day. I was so worried, I was crying and saying, why God, why uh, this woman, she's, she, all her kids have been gone. And just she remain one son, and that boy now is in jail for a long time ago. And then when they come to life, he's been talking to his son and she's crying and his son is crying. He broke my heart so bad and I said, what am I going to do? I have nothing, I guess I'll pray and God will answer. And I thank God so much today. She was so happy, even her face very happy today on live video. But the other day she's very down. So
so happy for her god bless her thank you jesus yeah and thank you to you baba and i yeah, have to thank 